from the Katanga Copper Crescent in the Congo. Now, I'm going to put this guy flat so you got a sideways view, almost palm size. What this is called is a smelter slag. So this is a part of a smelting process, would be from the, the smelters in the Katanga. Of course, in the Katanga, the guys are mining for the likes of copper and cobalt and related. So after the mining process, this would be a result, secondary crystallization, young crystallization. Uh, uh, there are people out there who collect just slags. This is quite interesting. First time I actually encountered the slag from the Congolese mines. Um, let me just show you the backdrop on this. There's a little bit of a have a look at that. It's all it's all fully crystalline, but it's 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 uh, I wouldn't say man-made, but it is as a result of secondary cooling. Uh, so you get this this uh, a waste liquid coming out of the or waste uh, a molten rock coming out of the smelter, which cools and then the crystal the elements most represented would crystallize, as you see here. Size wise, almost a palm size. Smelter slag from the Katanga Copper Crescent. Now that's rather vague, but we're looking at a, a square kilometers, about 350 square kilometers, where this would hail from.